everyone welcome to crypto clarity my name is sahil and on today's video i will be talking about where to buy nfts from yes the space which is booming from last couple of months and we have seen huge amounts of money pouring into this space a big companies like visa facebook they're announcing different uh, partnerships and they're buying nft collections so this is the space uh, where a lot of people are interested right now and are asking different questions so I want to answer all of those while uh, showing you how to buy these on uh, two different platforms like OpenSea and Wearable. They are uh, like exchanges for NFTs. You can buy multiple things uh, which are uh, labeled as NFTs there. So I will be showing you that in this video. Uh, just a quick reminder guys, this is not financial advice. I create this um, content for educational purposes only. Obviously I want you to uh, know the product and do your own research while uh, getting into anything so this uh, informational and educational content is for your uh, learning and my learning as well so uh, let's get right into it okay so what do we need to buy um, nfts on OpenSea and rarible um, most of these platforms are Ethereum based and they use Ethereum wallets to connect and obviously if you're using Ethereum, you have a different kind of wallet that you will need to connect to these websites. Uh, so for OpenSea, if you see, um, if I go to OpenSea.io here, it will give me a lot of different NFTs, the famous ones and a few of the newer ones as well. There are different categories up here. But for mainly um, starting our account on OpenSea, I will need to log into my MetaMask account or any other wallet which is listed on this platform here. So you can see there are multiple uh, wallets like MetaMask, Bitski, Fortmatic, Wallet Connect, and a lot of them already there. So it's you know something that can store um, Ethereum because NFTs are. Uh, ERC 721 smart contract based, you know, blockchain technology. So we have to understand that and, um, we have to connect MetaMask or something like that, which stores some, at least some, you know, hundred or couple of hundred dollars of Ethereum to buy NFTs. So if I click on MetaMask here, it will connect my account straight away because I already have MetaMask sitting down here. I've downloaded it and enabled it. So uh, that is something pretty simple from there. Um, and then I will be able to log into my account. If I um, go to my account settings here, it will show my profile with the wallet address and uh, NFTs that I'm buying or I'm creating as well. So this is something I bought. It's a bit, um, testing for, you know, just wanted to buy something to show you guys here. and. This is something that I owned. Uh, it's a ape of space, which is a verified uh, blockchain and a collection program. So you can see that they are, you know, a bit different and uh, how you can buy this kind of stuff just by connecting an uh, ERC721 based uh, wallet, which includes um, Ethereum on the chain. And if you want to see about Rarible, that will also be here. And if I go to rarible.com, it will ask for permission straight away for MetaMask, I guess. Yeah. So that it can log me in there. And you have to know that uh, these are the signatures that um, these blockchains look for. And um, when you connect these uh, with your uh, wallets, then you're able to you know, transact over these platforms. Pretty colorful because, you know, the market is crazy right now. You can see a lot of things going on here. It's asking me for adding my email address. Yep. So you can see, you know, how much people are bidding for it and what is, uh, different projects here, hot collections, board eight, yacht club. This is the famous one that we were talking about. Visa bought it. Um, 
yesterday and they spent 150,000 on them so you can see how much they are you know selling for it's crazy amount of money but you need to understand what uh, these projects give you when you're buying them you can see that on their websites there are a lot of different you know uh, projects out there and you can see from their website what is their uh, process and how they are going through um with their you know launches and every other um membership advances that they give to you so you can see that here So next up is what you can buy on these different platforms and um, what different um, NFTs they provide you. So we can explore on OpenSea and Rarible both that they have different kind of NFTs which include um, art, music, domain names, virtual world, trading cards, collectibles and you know stuff like that which hasn't been uh, told in other videos yet i guess uh, i haven't seen many people talking about different use cases of uh, nft if you want to also learn about that i have a video in the link um, uh, up there and even a description um, in the below so we have to see that you know this something that is just not art there are different uh, use cases of nfts as well there is this domain names which people have already seen so you can see that uh, there are different uh, blockchain domain names which are selling here and for different bids and every different prices you can see people have bought dot eth domain names so it's something you know people um, can use to uh, give value later on like um, the dot com uh, domains which were you know bought by people for pennies and now they're selling them uh, because they are big company names as well and then companies are okay to um, buy that kind of um, domain for you know a uh, couple of thousand dollars and it's good for these uh, people who buy it really cheap at like a couple of hundred bucks so um, it's a great ROI for them um, and if you go to Rarible you can see the explore section is different but yeah it includes the products which we are talking about here as well if you see categories and these are the different collections you can see explore if you go to collection this is the collection type and um, categories you can see here metaverses music domains DeFi, memes as well crypto punks I will show you the domains here as well, just so that we have the same thing in both spaces. So yeah, like people can sell um, domains on both of these, you know, platforms. You can list them um, simultaneously so that you can, um, you know, get more value and more um, audience on your um, bid as well. And you can see um, that people have place different prices on them also you need to understand that you will be paying gas fee every time um, you are uploading something on these platforms because that's what ethereum's uh, uh, contract says as well like you will be using ethereum to um, use these blockchains and obviously it's a transaction uh, happening there and uh, that ethereum will be uh, used for transaction of those um, uh, you know functions that you will be choosing to do on this couple of these next up i would talk about some uh, steps that you can take while um, looking to collect nfts and uh, some features that you can look for you know uh, before understanding the value or uh, if you want to you know even sell them uh, in future you want to know if they will be able to you know give you more value over time so you can um, find that out by uh, looking at the screen and you know uh, I will show you a couple of projects which uh, give you an example of uh, how they look and uh, you know how you can uh, at least try to figure out and predict how the future of these projects will be. So let's get into it. Um, this I will show you an example of again. Um, 
for a PH club. So see, um, what you have to look in a project is the floor price uh, for buying uh, them. That should be really low. So what you will ask, what is floor price? Um, that is the price of the uh, product which is the lowest. So on uh, board APH club, you can see the lowest price is twenty four ninety nine. That's the floor price, and that's really really expensive right now. If we see that um, if one Ethereum is around um, three or four grand, that's you know one in twenty four. So that's you know a lot of uh, Ethereum and uh, money spending on something. You know uh, you want to sell it later as well. People are obviously getting a lot of uh, value out of their money because they bought it for cheap, around like a couple of hundred bucks as well. So you want to look uh, that these prices should be really low. Like I will show you the one that I brought, the uh, uh, Apes of Space. So their floor price was really low. I wanted to uh, find a product with. Uh, different properties which I saw here and saw the rarity of the product which also defines that how valuable can it be in future so I went into um, their main page looked at their floor price which is 0 0.02 um, ethereum which is really low right now so if you you know want to check their website the next step I would say that um, look into their website and what their uh, process is for future so that uh, you will know that you know this can give you value in future let's see um so it's asking for connecting metamask let's give that information you can see roadmap here what will they provide um, when you know all the NFTs are minted. Let's say that find space pirates map in your NFT and get your treasure up to one eighth. Price pool guarantee 10 Ethereum from community wallet plus percentage from space pirate portal NFTs same. So you can see how they are, you know, funding the uh, funding the project as well uh, on OpenSea and how they are uh, giving um, space airdrop. Um, for additional ape of space first month and yeah they're giving you the whole uh, project line so you can see how you know what they are doing that that is something that you will have to look in the project when you're buying something and um, in future I think they will be also um, adding this to a metaverse or a gaming platform so you can use these characters on their uh, you know gaming platform as well and then see when does it launch okay yeah so this is for space pirate bottles 6000 unique and I would say you can go to different places from OpenSea they should have connected but maybe it doesn't open that again of space and just do a google search it's of space and a collection this is their main page yep so you can see a whole lot of things you know um, how they will have uh, different value based on uh, their rarity what parts they have and what features they have you can see that there are a lot of them right now so they they are going to mint 10,000 um, of the you know total mintable quantity and that's how they will be you know um, launching them on different platforms like OpenSea so that's how you should um, look into them in future as well and um, you know that will be making it easier for you to understand the value of the project um, i'm not obviously as much into this space but i wanted to create a tutorial for you so that you can um, look into this and you know 
understand um, how you should do your research basically um, and you know look for floor price and also look for um, the project website and how they are um, going to go ahead with this so that's a few things that I uh, you know found out from my research in this space till now but obviously if I get anything else I will um, get in touch with you guys obviously let you know so that's it for this video guys I will uh, see you next time thank you